Hey guys, it's your girl Shannon and I'm back with another video. Today is something I'm really excited about because it's part three of my macro series. And so if you guys haven't watched the first part, which is how to calculate your macros, and then the second part, which is how to create a meal plan from your macros, I would definitely suggest watching those. And once you have your meal plan together, we will talk about how to go to the grocery store and shop for all of the food you need. It's actually really fun, and I definitely would consider myself a shopaholic, but only when it comes to food. I love just wandering around the grocery store and looking at all the different aisles and the bulk food section and all the different like produce and meats. It's just so much fun for me. But for a lot of you guys, you guys don't have a lot of time. Um, I don't always have a lot of time either, and so efficiency is key as well when going to the grocery store. So today we're going to talk about that and how to be efficient and how to get in and out of the grocery store and get all of the stuff that you need. So what I did to get started was basically create my meal plan and write my meal plan out. So I'm going to share that with you. This is what I did for breakfast and lunch, and here's the meal plan for dinner. And so what I did, you can actually kind of see on the right there that I multiplied everything times four um, because I meal prep for four days. So I need to buy enough food for four days. And so after I did that, I put together my grocery list. And so my grocery list actually looks something like this. And so what I have here is all of the food that I need in order to prep my meals for the week. And another tip before we get started and go to the store is that I love to buy things in bulk because, um, you know, eating and food and especially if you're shopping at Whole Foods all the time or, you know, trying to eat organic, it gets super expensive. And so what I do is I like to buy in bulk. So, for example, I have a friend who has a Costco card, and whenever he goes to Costco, I say, hey, can I tag along? And I try to buy all of the items that I can get in bulk that I can save and not have to buy every week. So, a good example is actually this quinoa. This quinoa from Costco is awesome, and it lasts for a really long time. And so, I've been actually using this quinoa for the past couple weeks and I expect it to last me probably a few months um, because it's a pretty big bag. And so by doing so, you can save money and it actually makes it easier because you don't have to shop for those items every week. So another great thing to do, another good tip, is to make a list of bulk items that you can buy that don't perish, that don't go bad, and have a store of those in your pantry ready to go for your meal prep. So part of the reason why this video has taken me so long to produce is because the first time that I went to Whole Foods, I actually got kicked out of the store for filming. And they don't like it when you come into the store and start filming and taking pictures of a lot of things, especially if it looks like you have a nice camera. And so today I actually have this little tiny GoPro, which I'm gonna take along and I'm just gonna strap it onto my shopping cart and the shopping cart's gonna follow me around and I'm actually gonna to go to two stores. So the first one's gonna be Sprouts and the second one's gonna be Whole Foods. And it's not gonna take us more than an hour to shop for all of our food. And then we'll be back here to do a grocery haul. So let's get shopping. So we are on the way to the grocery store and some of you guys ask me why I shop at two places, sometimes three. Um, the thing is that they're not that far away from each other, which is great. And also I tend to look at the deals. So I look through the ads and sometimes they get mailed to my house and I look to see like online what stores have specials because I'm always about saving money and trying to eat healthy while on a budget. So I noticed that Sprouts Farmer's Market has some of the things I need on sale. So we're going to go there and then we're going to make a trip to Whole Foods after. Um, that's kind of the reason why I like to spread it out. I'm always looking for ways to save money.
guys just finished up at Sprouts Farmers Market and now I'm off to Whole Foods. with a nice dirty big bag of groceries and this is all of my food for my meal prep four days a week so this actually ended up not being super expensive and let's go through the groceries that I got so first up we have spinach and I love spinach it has so many good vitamins and minerals I'm gonna be eating this twice a day so I'm gonna eat it in the morning during breakfast and I also want to eat it at dinner time because it has so many great nutrients in it and I love spinach Next up, we have another breakfast item. Eggs are one of those things that I pretty much eat every single day. Um, this is pasture-raised and organic. And when I go to the supermarket and I buy eggs, I always check to make sure that none of them are cracked. Because um, you know, you never know. And I'm going to put these eggs over avocado on toast. It'll be really good. So next up, we have an awesome bread. Uh, this is Dave's Killer Bread. And what I like about it is that it has protein in it, which is awesome. It has fiber in it. Um, it has whole grains in it. So I'm gonna make this with my avocado toast, or actually, it's gonna be the bottom of my avocado toast. It's gonna be the toast. Um, and I can't wait to eat this. I love this bread. Next up, we have this 2% yogurt, and I love this yogurt. I usually put honey in it or fruit in it. It makes a great snack. Um, sometimes I eat it for breakfast. Um, it's really delicious, and so I'm gonna be eating that. Next up, I have a big bag of green beans. I usually just peel the tips off and wash them, and I can roast them in the oven when I make my meat. So just sprinkle a little olive oil and salt and pepper, and I can easily just roast these as well, and they are so good. Um, and so easy. So next up I have chicken breast and I love chicken breast because it's nice and lean. It has a lot of protein and it's easy to make. Um, I just usually make it in the oven. Um, Sprouts actually had a great deal on chicken breast. It was $1.88 a pound. So for all of this chicken, I only had to pay $6.81. Um, I should have a little bit left over looking at the weight and how much I intend to eat this week. So I can save some of that chicken and I can eat it either next week or I can freeze it for another day. Um, it's awesome because it helps me stay on budget. Next I have salmon and I'm going to zoom in on that so you guys can see. I love salmon. Um, it has great omega-3s, healthy fats, and it's a great source of protein. Um, Whole Foods has a great price on this salmon and so um, I bought a little bit over a pound. I'm going to share a little bit with my husband. And so for this salmon that I can eat for the whole week, it was only $9. Next up, I have bananas. I love bananas. They are a great snack. Um, they're delicious and nutritious. Um, they're easy to eat on the go. Bananas are just the best. And last but not least, I have avocados. These are Haas California avocados, and they were on sale at Whole Foods. So I went over and bought them. Um, they are so great. I like to eat them in the morning because they're my source of healthy fat. And I love to make avocado toast. I love to eat them with salads or even like make guacamole. There are so many different ways you can eat avocados. And so it's usually a staple of something that I buy quite regularly at least once a week. So I'm looking at the receipts here and all of this food costed me $44.78 between the two groceries. And so if I think about it, that's about $11 a day of food for four days. And that's actually really cheap. So if you think that eating healthy and you know sticking with your macros and being pretty clean about the way you eat is really expensive, it's actually not if you do it right. So if you take the time to just think about your health and your body and all the good things that go into it, you can actually prep really healthy on a budget. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to my video, please do that because there's another part of this video coming. 
I'm going to prep all of the food that I got. So we're gonna prep together. You can watch me in the kitchen, you can see what I do, and you can kind of understand how I take all of this food that I got today and I make it into a nice neat stack of little meal prep boxes. So that's gonna be the next video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye everyone!